Every year is a different challenge at the Boilermaker Regional Robotics Competition. The competition pits high school teams from around the country in a robot showdown like no other. News 18 video journalist Austin Miller has more on this very unique event. One, two, three. This particular game is dealing with frisbees and launching frisbees into goals. Goals up on top are three points, two points, and the ones on the ground are lower. The goal that's in the top of the tower is five. And then at the very end, there is a chance to climb a tower. And the climbing the tower is actually one step at a time, not just winching yourself up. Very complicated task. Every rung of the tower is 10 more points, so it's 10, 20, and 30. There's a kit of parts and a bunch of rules that the students have to follow, and they come up with a design and build a robot to be competitive in six weeks. That's all the time they have. They're not allowed to go beyond that. There are 40 teams from many different places around the country. We have a team from Puerto Rico. We have a team from Hawaii. But most of them are from the Midwest here around uh, here in Indiana, Illinois. The atmosphere in here is electric. All the kids really um, root for their teams, root for other teams. and. It feels like you're just at a big sporting event, but it's robotics. There's two alliances competing together. Each alliance is three teams. For qualification matches, each of the teams are randomly assigned together. But uh, for the afternoon final rounds, they actually draft alliances and it goes to a bracket style tournament. I started back in February 2011. This year, we raised about six to seven thousand dollars. It's hard to get funding, it's hard to get teacher sponsors. You can't have a team at a high school without the school's approval and a school doesn't want to have approval unless you have a teacher. To start a team every year you have to pay five thousand dollars. That includes your first your first regional and a kid of parts. This year I had the honor of being chosen as operator so I'm out there on the field controlling the robot and I'm mostly involved with like shooting the distance. What's it like scoring a goal? It's great. <laughs> Especially when sometimes when your robot doesn't work and then the next next match you get you score all of your points and that's like a really good feeling and it's really rewarding because you've worked so hard for six weeks working on this robot and you've dedicated so many hours into it and just seeing that all come out on the field it's really exciting. Winners from today's competition have the opportunity to travel to St. Louis to compete in front of 40,000 people at the World Championships.